Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, today we got this <clears throat> lock from Monkey Lock Picks, and it is called Monkey Fist. And it's got this cool little art on the side. I like that little symbol. It's a cool little thing you could draw for your channel. Very cool. Called Monkey Fist. And yeah, I got this from Still Pinnings, so I figured we'd see if we can't get it open. Swing over here and we'll throw it in the vise. Alright. Zoom in a little bit. Alright, let's see. We got. Nope, that's my 50,000. That's not gonna fit at all not even close so let's try a smaller one maybe yeah uh, I guess we'll just try this one hold on let's see this one here might work that's like the medium one eh, no that one's not gonna work either all right let's try the smallest one and that one will work it is a little loose but it should work and let's see let's try my deforced diamond here all right let's see what we can't do here okay got a little click on five got a little another little click on six Big click, it felt like on three. Let's see. Feels like something back there is giving me feedback. Oh, there I got a little click on too, felt like. Yeah. And I got something back there giving me feedback. Okay, a little click on four. No movement of the core though, really. Okay, a little click on four again. Felt like I dropped it. Okay, a little click on two. A little click on five. Okay, got some turn on the core off uh, three, felt like. Feels like one's giving me feedback. A little bit. Yeah, there it is. And I don't think I got that click. Oh, and there we go. We got it open. Nice. That was on one. 
Very cool. All right, let's uh, go ahead and zoom out a little bit. And we'll get this out of the way here. And I'm not sure where my other shim went. So we'll use this old dirty one. And we got a key. Yeah, let's lock it up and let's hope that key works. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, that comes right off. <laughs> okay. And that looks good. Let's see if we can get this clip off without injuring anybody. Let's see. I think we can get it. Almost got it. And there it is, and it went flying. Oh, but I found it. All right. Now, let's go ahead and get you guys down here a little bit. We'll throw this key in here. You know what? I don't know how good that shim is going to work. Being the shape that it is. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to work. Let's go ahead and bend it some. Huh. It's not going to be easy. Maybe. We get it in here on the side over here. Nope. That's going to be hard to shim. All right. Um, I don't have the right shim, so let's see if we can do this without a shim. We're going to turn it this way. All right, you guys hope for the best here. Well, see, I don't like that way. That's right, neither. That's terrible. But, yeah, I think we can do it. Ready? Let's give it a shot here. All right, and we got it. Cool. All right, so. Wow, lots of goodness in there. We got it couple of T-pins. Let's get you pointed down here a little bit. And in one, if I could find my tweezers, there they are. In one, we got a nice T-pin with a serration on it. In two, we got another nice key pin with some serrations on it. In three, we got a tiny little serrated key pin. And it's also tapered at the top. In three, we got more serrations or wide serrations, I'd say. In five, we got one wide serration and a few tiny serrations and then we got kind of a spoolish uh, deal on top and we got undercutting in one and four and two and five we got threads and very nice pins down there let's go through here and we'll see what we got up top. Oh, 
Up top, we have a serrated spool. And... I got one dang fly in here that's messing with me. And that's what happens when the kids leave the door open. But anyway, and two, we got another serrated spool. Very nice looking. And a copper spring. And the first spring was brass, looks like. Okay, and in three. We have another spool. Nice looking spool. And a steel spring. And in four, we got a long graduated spool. Nice looking pin. Oh, that's cool. It's got a little ball at the end. Very cool pin there. And a tiny copper spring, because that was a long key pin, so, or I mean driver pin, so it had to put a tiny spring in there. And in five, we got a serrated with a little ball on the end. Actually, it's spooled, more spooled. It's a step down spool, it looks like. With a very thin copper spring and last one let's see if we can go from the back and get it taken care of and yes we can and it is a serrated with a thin spoolish piece on there and a copper spring very cool nice lock and let's see that key where's that key okay we got the key there we'll show you oh let's look and see what we got in the bible here in the bible well looks like there's something funky in chamber one let's see I don't think it's no I think it's factory kinda looks funky though looks like one and six have like a almost a little factory counter milling almost and it felt kinda Feels like there's a little lip, but I would, yeah, there's a little lip there, it seems like, and the rest of them don't feel that way. So, yeah, I don't know if that's factory or what we got going on. I don't think it doesn't look like he opened the top to this, so I would say that whatever's in there is from the factory, maybe a factory mess up, even. I don't know, but anyways, that's our Bible, and here I'll give you a close up on the pins, very beautiful pins. Nicely done, very creative. I like that long one with the ball on it. And here's your bidding. And yeah, those are some very nice pins. That little step down spool is pretty cool. I like how that works. And we got these T pins that are a little tough to get past. And there you have it. Alright, guys, thanks. Uh, Still pinnings, thanks for sending me that lock. Uh, monkey lock picks. Keep up the good work and thanks for building the lock. Uh, if you don't have consent, keep your pick in your pants. Don't break the law and have a good day. Thanks.